church into action. It would be vindicated. Signs of his coming at hand. Israel has gone back to her homeland. Jesus said, when the fig tree puts forth its buds, this generation shall not pass until all these things are fulfilled. When Israel returns to her homeland and becomes a nation, that generation would see the coming of the Messiah. I got a piece from a rabbi in Palestine. The other day was very striking. There's a little vine this year has grown up in Palestine that hasn't been seen there for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And it's been predicted by the Jews that when that vine grows again, the Messiah is on his road. <laughs> the wise men that come from up in Babylon, and they were studying the stars, they were astronomers, and as they studied the stars, they seen these three stars line up. Ham, Sham, and Japheth's star that they were born under lined up. And they knew those scientific believers watched the heavenly beings, how they move. And when they seen those stars come in to line over Jerusalem, for if they was at Babylon, they looked right straight towards Jerusalem, towards the west to see it. And when they seen that come in, they knew that when those stars come in line with one another, the Messiah was on the earth. Yeah, Glory! Hallelujah. And when we see Israel going home and the Holy Ghost being poured out in the churches, the ecumenical news are going together in a council of churches and things, and Roman Catholicism and Protestantism uniting together, the Messiah is going to come to catch away his bride. And God is sending gifts to try to create in us a faith that will move us out of here someday into a rapture. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Healing the sick, opening the eyes of blind, raising up the dead. Great signs in the heaven above. Angels coming in consolation and scientists looking off at it. Predicted months before it happened. There it was. There's in a magazine. Told months before it happened. Seven angels come down and said the complete revelation of the sixth seal mystery of God would be unfolded. And there it was just exactly like he said predicted before it happened. And they look around, they find all kind of mystic sites and call them uh, supernatural beings of some kind. They call it flying saucers, fearful signs in the skies, on earth signs. The signs pointing to us that the coming of the Lord Jesus is at hand. Now a little vine crops up. Israel's a nation of her own. She's got her own nation, her own flag. The old six-point star of David, the oldest flag in the world, flies again for the first time for about 2,500 years. They've got their own army. They've got their own currency. They are represented in the United Nations. They are a nation for the first time for 2,500 years. While they were gathering in, I got a tape of it, a picture. We call it three minutes till midnight. And in that they asked these Jews, bring them in old on their back, pack them. They say, did you come to the homeland to die? No, we come to see the Messiah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 When you see them questions, that's a God's calendar piece. Yeah. Yeah. Praise that the Messiah Lord. is fixing to appear. Oh, how we ought to be humble, how we ought to... Be reverent, how we ought to be in action, trying to get every soul saved that we can, scattering seeds from right to left and doing everything we can. 